I have five great discontinued spring fragrances that runs between tens, nines, and eights. Stay tuned. Number five on this list, I have La Vente Garde by Lon Vin. Such a beautiful scent, it's a shame discontinued this fragrance. This fragrance resembles a lot La Nuit de Lon by Yves Saint Laurent, but this one is a bit sweeter. At a time, few years back when they reformulated La Nuit de Lon, this one was the number one alternative just because it was very cheap at a time. I remember I, I, I got this bottle for like around 15, 16 bottles or so. It was the cheapest fragrance that you can ever find online. This fragrance nowadays is a unicorn and is very hard to come by at a reasonable price. La Lon Vin Avant Garde is such a beautiful scent that uh, it's a shame they discontinue it and it's great, great for the springtime. Number four on this list, it's a uh, Lom Spore, such a beautiful scent, one of the best smelling Lom flankers to me personally. The only downfall for this fragrance is that it doesn't last long. So you need to always be respraying. But the unfortunate part that this fragrance now is a unicorn and it's really hard to come by. And to find a bottle of this, you're just gonna have to pay a pretty penny for it. Does it really deserve the price point 200 plus dollars on it? Smell wise, Probably yes if you are a collector, but in terms of projection and performance, not really. It lasts on me like two, three hours. But smell wise, oh my god, one of the best smelling loam flankers ever, bar none. Number three on my list, it's Aqua Amara by Bulgari. I remember I paid $17 of Amazon for this bottle. I bought a few, I resold a few, and I gave away a few for my friends and family. This one was it at a certain point in life. This one is very citrusy with the mandarin orange, but it's got an edge as well, okay? It's not for everybody. It lasts for a long time. It gives a green edge into it, so it's perfect for the springtime. I love this scent, and it's a shame they discontinued this scent. It, it was a beautiful, beautiful scent that, that honestly, I think they shouldn't have discontinued it. Aqua Amara by Bulgari, such a beautiful scent. Two on my list is a beautiful fragrance. It's a beast mode. It gets a lot of compliments. It resembles a lot number three, Aqua Amara, but with added rose in the mid. I used to wear a lot back in the day, but nowadays I haven't worn it in a long time. And I'm talking about one million cologne. Such a beautiful scent, guys. This is a slept on fragrance. Unfortunately, nowadays this one got discontinued, but even though when this one was available, not a lot of talk about this one, just because of that rose in the mid. It's not overly rosy, guys, okay? It smells beautiful. It gets compliments and it's a beast. For a spring and summer fragrance, that was a 10 out of 10 for me at a time. Such a beautiful scent. I still love until this day and I'm happy that I have this bottle. Let's go with my number one and the last one I have on this list, but not least, of course, which is Gucci Pour Homme De. Ah, such a beautiful scent. It's got a flimsy cap, but who cares, dude? It's all about this blue juice right here, guys. Such a beautiful bottle for a beautiful, beautiful scent. One of the most pleasing scents to me personally. I don't wear this scent that often just because I only wear this scent when I want to feel better about myself. There's these fragrances that you put on to instantly like feel better about yourself, that's one of them for me personally. Gucci Pour Homme De, one of the most beautiful scents that I have in this whole collection that I have, that probably over a thousand bottles at this point. That's number one for me for the spring when it comes to discontinued fragrances. Like and subscribe and comment in the section down below. And that's it, see you guys tomorrow.